Germany reinstated border controls on all nine of its frontiers Monday morning, in what it says is a crackdown on irregular migration and crime following recent extremist attacks. Temporary mobile police checks were spotted at Germany's borders with France, Belgium and the Netherlands. In the German town of Elton, along the border with Netherlands, police were seen checking passports of people arriving by bus on Monday. Nine countries border Germany and all are part of Schengen. Germany already imposed restrictions last year at its borders with Poland, the Czech Republic, Austria and Switzerland. The expanded border controls, announced last week, are set to last six months and are threatening to test European unity. Most of Germany's neighbors are fellow members of the European Union, a 27-country bloc based on the principles of free trade and travel. And Germany, the EU's economic motor in the heart of Europe, shares more borders with other countries than any other member state. According to the EU, member states are allowed to temporarily reintroduce controls at the EU's so-called internal borders in case of a serious threat, such as one to internal security. But it also says border controls should be applied as a last resort in exceptional situations, and must be time-limited. Such limitations are often put in place during major sporting events, including the recent Olympic Games in Paris and the European Soccer Championship this summer. The Ukrainian army advanced in Glushkovsky district of Russia's Kursk region on September 14 and captured several villages in Tyatkino and north of Sudza, Institute for the Study of War (ISW), reported with reference to a number of Russian sources. Geolocation footage released on September 13 has shown Ukrainian forces advance in Veselo town, southwest of Glushkovo. According to a Russian military blogger, Ukrainian forces have captured the town of Veselo. Russian sources also claimed that Ukrainian troops had advanced west of Medvezhai, southwest of Glushkovo, and in the south of Tetkino, about 25 kilometers southwest of Glushkovo, along the border with Ukraine's Sumy region. Ukrainian forces continued offensive operations near Medvezhai, Veselai, Obakovka in the south of Veselai and Novi Put in south of Veselai on September 13 and 14, with the units of Russia's 56th Airborne Regiment under the 7th Airborne Division and 106th Division repelling attacks by Ukrainian troops in the Glushkovsky district. On Saturday, Ukrainian troops also advanced north of Sudza, with a Russian military blogger claiming that Cherkasy Porekn settlement in north of Sudza was captured by Ukrainians. Ukrainian troops' advance comes after Russia launched a counterattack in Kursk region in recent days following Ukraine's large-scale incursion in early August. Geolocation imagery released on September 14 shows infantry from the Russian Black Sea Fleet operating in Borka settlement southeast of Sudza, indicating that Russian troops have recently advanced further into the settlement. <laughs> 